This is a HDD for the Xbox 360, but I don't have an Xbox 360 that can use this. Um, what I'm looking to use it on is my Xbox Series X or laptop, which isn't right there right now. The problem is, I'm having a lot of trouble finding an adapter that plugs into this connection and then to USB. <clears throat> That's all I need. And when I look at them, when I, when I uh, took a picture of this connection, or I tried to look up what connection this thing uses, it says that this is a standard SATA connection, but it sure doesn't look like one compared to what the adapters that are for SATA look like. Um, this, I know that this is really pointless and that I want to use this now and in this day and age, but this, this can have quite a bit of data on it. In the absolute best case scenario, this is the biggest one that they made, which was like 500 gigabytes, which is something that you definitely blink at, um, because that's quite a lot of data, 500 gigabytes. That's more, that's almost as much as the like highest end uh, micro SD card that you can get right now, which is like 512 gigabytes, I think. Or maybe I'm old and I just remember that. Seems like that's like the highest one you can get without getting into outrageous prices for things. So, in best case scenario, this is 500 gigabytes, but in the worst case scenario, it's 120 gigabytes, which still is enough to blink at because. This card here, this little, um, this thing, is 128 gigabytes, and that's also something to blink at, because, oh no, it's gone, oh, found it, um, because one step up from this is that magical 512 gigabytes that I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that's right. By mm, 240 something gigabytes. Probably, yeah, 250, I think. Um, but, anyways, so yeah, this is something that you definitely blink at when you hear how much data is on it. I'm looking to use this. Because, well, I bought this for cheap, and it would be great to be able to use this and not have to pay the outrageous prices of the ex the actual external drives for that. Or just, you know, outrageous prices for um, external drives for a laptop. Or, But if I have to, I'll go through a company that I found that sells... Pretty big data drives, for example, um, two terabytes for only like 30 bucks. Yes, you heard me. $30. 30 bucks. 30 big ones. 30 bits. Which is insane to hear that kind of price on a HDDD or even an SSD. Which is. Which one of those is. I think this is what the. Um, Xbox Series X uses, but the outrageous prices on those um, definitely bring people to not buy the actual external drives for the Xbox. I am honestly surprised that nobody has created an adapter for the back of that thing that, that goes into that port and, and enables you to just about put anything like through USB into there, and then it'll see it as a, like, you know, external drive that you can just put stuff on. Because if you put stuff directly into the USB ports, it doesn't really see that as that. <clears throat> it sees it as a USB drive or USB device. Which, um, well, you can see how that's a problem, because... 
this is not like a USB thumb drive, and if it did recognize it as a USB thumb drive through the um actual USB ports, then it would ju it wouldn't want to use it to store the games. That's like the biggest thing. That that's a problem here. Um, I know a lot of people just say, "Oh, you know, wait until the um storage the actual." official storage cards for the Xbox Series X go way down in price, but I don't think that's going to happen because of the rising prices of everything right now. But, I, well, I mean, everything is going back down a little bit, but the rising, the, 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 um, the, the cards have been around for a while now. Um, I know it's only been, like, some months, but since the Xbox X released, but the cards haven't gone down any. And the smallest one, well, that one is a whopping $70, I think. Maybe 60 or 50 I don't... It's been a while since I've been to the store and actually looked at one. But that's a one terabyte card. Only one terabyte. Now, I know that they have gotten rid of that one, or just aren't selling it anymore, or people aren't grabbing it as soon as it comes in the store. Because it seems like whenever I go to any store, they only have... I don't. A lot of them don't even have, like, the peg for the one terabyte one anymore. For the Xbox 360. Or, no, Xbox Series X, my god. Um... They have the 2 terabyte, 3 terabyte, and 4 terabyte, and that 4 terabyte one, even though that is slightly aging technology now, is a whopping over $100. <clears throat> Which is a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people. But of course, the company that made them doesn't care what you think about the prices. They have their heart set on these prices. They're not going to lower, or at least not a lot. Not until the Series X has been around for at least four years or five. And then by that time, they're probably going to come out with new cards that are going to cost about the same amount or even more. So, yeah. I just want to be able to use this thing with... Anything really, my computer even, because it's got quite a bit of data on it. Even if it is the lowest one, that's uh, that's quite a bit of data on twenty gigabytes. I could store. Let's see, with Xbox three hundred and sixty and original Xbox games, I'm pretty sure that I could store all of the ones that I have on there with no problem. And then I would save the internal hard drive space for by Xbox One and Xbox Series X games that are more demanding. So, I think that's all I have to say, and I have no idea what kind of adapter to use for this. I don't know what this connection is called, and I can't really find any information online. I can't find another video online that tells you about the connection or what kind of uh, adapter to use or anything like that. The only information I did find was that this was supposedly a standard SATA connection, but it sure doesn't look like that to me. <clears throat> so yeah, if anybody has any information about how to use this, I know I'm kind of dumb for buying this, but come on, it was it was five bucks, six bucks, you know, come on. How was I supposed to resist buying a HDD for six bucks? And I really want to use it. So if anybody could please just tell me how I could use this with with uh, anything really through USB or what adapter to use, that would be great. <laughs>